All right, guys, uh, welcome back to a quick video on the TCL 35G. Now, this phone is coming out in October, if I didn't say that already in the previous unboxing. I did a quick unboxing of it, just showing it um, to you guys, uh, very brief. And I've been taking photos with this device all day. And I got to tell you, the low light photos on here are very impressive. Now, and everyone says they have a 50 megapixel uh, count sometimes. Uh, but I've been really impressed with this device and just the overall look of it, the way it changes colors, it's really nice. So you've got a really slim design here, SIM trays on that side, and then you've got a power button that doubles uh, with the fingerprint reader and the volume rocker there. It's a real sleek design. I like that it has a fingerprint reader on the power button. Then it has that type C and headphone at the bottom. Now, I started here uh, to show you guys the um, screen here. They're, they're proud of this, and, and they should be. This is their AMOLED display. Viewing angles are really good. Now, you guys probably, uh, some people might, might be watching this saying, TCL, phones? Yeah, I know you know them for their TVs, uh, but, yeah, they, they started in the smartphone market, I think, like, officially a couple years back, putting, up, putting their brand on phones, and they're actually doing pretty good. This is a really nice phone. And it, the reason I think it's nice is because it's going to reach the masses. A lot of people want an unlocked device when they can get one. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm glad that they're pushing these unlocked devices because I've had lots of people ask me about their devices before. Uh, and they were um, not unlocked. They were just locked to a carrier. So this is a beautiful display. This not, is this not even at full brightness. And you can see the angles here. Uh, really, really nice device right here. 6.7 inches, full HD plus. So you um, you have 1080p display there, uh, but I think it's I think it's safe to say that this will be a really nice device for a lot of different people. So again, like I was saying before, I took a lot of photos with this rear camera here, and the most they've had in the past is 48 megapixels, and so they're they're doing pretty good. So I'm still on the road at the recording of this video. I'm still at the event, uh, but I wanted to stop for a second, and um, I had some free time, so I wanted to stop for a second and show you what it looks like when you actually get it powered on and out the box and set up. So this is what it looks like. So I added, obviously I added a lot of my apps on here. I just don't have them organized yet, as you can see here, but you can see it actually does come with some bloatware. So you can see that, that Facebook there. So let's see what happens when I want to get rid of the Facebook. Uh, let's go do it this way. App, and you can uninstall it because I don't use Facebook. And I don't think it would affect this device very much because this has a 5,010 milliamp hour battery. So let's go ahead and remove LinkedIn. I don't um, need to do LinkedIn. As you can see, you can uninstall it by holding and swiping up like that. And the, some people might be worried about, you know, is this going to perform well? I saw some comments already saying, but how is it going to perform? Is it going to do well? Is it going to do well? It's got the Dimensity 700 5G chip in here. So if you know that chip, then you know that this device will perform well. It's going to perform well enough to get you through your day uh, with good performance. And I'm not just saying that. You know, I, I've definitely used that chip before, and I'm pretty happy with the chip overall. It kind of reminds me of, a, of the Snapdragon 625. You know what I mean? That very tried and true and tested processor. So... Again, I've downloaded all my apps. I got to get them situated. Uh, but there's there's some bloatware in here too. Like all these things in here, some of these things I, I would not even consider using. And some of them aren't downloaded yet. Now, Instagram, obviously, I put it over here. But in this folder right here, these are hot apps. So you've got Telegram. Let's go ahead and download Telegram because I thought I did that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was about to say, I know I had that already. Oh, yeah. There it is down at the bottom. But this is pretty strange for them to put a shortcut to uh, some things that you, they might consider hot items. Uh, but I guess that's cool. So, um, yeah, and I think I've downloaded most of these. Twitter, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just get rid of that if I can. No, nope, I can't. I'll have to remove it elsewhere uh, about each one probably at a time. But, yeah, um, pretty excited about this device, man. Um, more importantly, uh, the battery life on it is going to be pretty good because I charged it to 100, and I started my day at... Uh, 8 a.m. or something like that, 7, 8, 8 a.m. And I took this phone off the charger at 8 a.m. And it is now 5.30 p.m. And I'm at 85%. So that 5,010 um, milliamp hour battery is going to be great. It's going to be nice. So I think you should get ready for that. 
but yeah, this booking.com, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna use that. I don't need booking.com. There's there's a little bit of bloatware on here, but the fact that you can remove it, that's the most important thing to me. So um again, I've loaded up some some things on here. Let me let me fire up Hawk real quick and see if I can get you just a little bit of this isn't a very graphic intense game, obviously. Um uh, yes, I'm over 13. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. No, let's accept that. Uh, but yeah, this isn't a real graphic intense game, but it is a game that I think I, I like to use this game to kill time and I can play this game for hours. So I think on a 5,000 milliamp hour battery like this, um, you'll see that it's going to work extremely well. So, um, I wanted to give you some kind of follow up on this device, uh, to let you know it's the next day. Uh, and and I'm, I've been using this device all day for photos. I mean, I've taken, I'm putting together a video now. Obviously, it's not going to be in this video, but I'll show you some of the footage. Uh, I'll show you some some things in this video of the actual uh, footage I've taken. Um, and I think you'll be impressed. So camera wise, they actually did put a nice 40, uh, 50 megapixel camera in here coming away from the 48 megapixel. That was their biggest camera lens. Uh, camera uh, that they've had in the phone. And so I'm surprised here that they actually did pretty good with this in low light. So before I get too deep into playing this, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I'm going to show you some of the images that I've taken with this device. There's a lot of them. So there's footage um, portrait mode. It has a 50 megapixel option in here, and I'll show you how to turn that on. Um, but these are just some quick portrait shots that I've taken uh, with the device. This is just the, um, here you go. This is, and I know it's not going to look too good on camera probably. I'm in my hotel. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm trying to hold the camera and shoot this. I didn't bring any tripods. I brought one device with me. Well, two. I bought another TCL device as well. I bought the 20 series with me as my backup. Um, but these are some of the, the, these are all low light. And again, you'll get an official video uh, with this stuff, man, with these in here, but you know, this, this camera does really good in low light. And I think they should be happy with what they're putting out. If you're going to bring something to the market, you need to be happy with what it's good, what, what you're, what you're putting out. And so having, um, having said that, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this device because it's, it's roughly 270 bucks. It's under that price, but you know, uh, so under 270, I think it's like 268 or 269, something like that. So 270 is why I rounded to that price. But, um, you know, I'm happy for them for this device for that reason. They're putting out something that is really good. Now, it doesn't have stereo speakers, but it has a, a bottom firing speaker right here. But the fact that it has a headphone jack, that's impressive by today's standard. Now, don't you always wonder why uh, a lot of companies take away the headphone jack on the uh, higher price devices and you know, put it on the lower cost devices. So that, that still shocks me to this day. But uh, let me get it powered back on. I got my other finger set up. Hold on. All right. I've only set up my right thumb. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this device, man. I would be lying if I said I wasn't. I have a lot of devices, and this one is no exception. I'm going to roll out into the sunlight here. You can see how it looks white sometimes with the sunlight. And then it looks blue. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy, man. I like these devices that have this shimmering look. And you can see how f fast that fingerprint reader is. That is a fast fingerprint reader. So this this will be more than enough for a lot of people. I think I think a lot of people are probably going to be excited about this device if they can get their hands on it. I think it's going to do fairly well, too. I mean, for 270 bucks, unlocked, 5G chip, um, nice and thin. Power button, fingerprint reader, headphone jack, 50 megapixel shooter back there. That's actually pretty decent for the price, man. I mean, you're not looking at some groundbreaking technology here with the best camera on a phone. But I did shoot video in a low light setting and I shot a, I just pretty much loaded this phone down with photos while I'm here in, in California. And I think I'm, 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 it's fair to say that for 270 bucks, when this drops, I don't see it doing bad. And then another thing, if carriers get it, you know, they'll give, They'll give some kind of option or something to uh, get it to where you can get it for free on a contract. Well, not a contract, but they offer you some kind of promotion. Ninety nine dollars at a line free if you add a line. They're going to offer something. So the fact that um, it, it's the, the TCL is doing and I'm ready for TCL to do some kind of 
flagship device too. Um, but I don't know how far they'll go for that. But the software is Android 12, uh, and you know it's running. You know the way it looks for it looks like stock Android. Obviously, that's how TCL software is. You can adjust these. You've seen me do lots of TCL things, so you can adjust these uh, the menu to make it look different. You can sort differently by hitting this tab up here, and you can see exactly what you can change it to. But overall, folks, this is a this is a really nice phone, and in the fact that it has their NXT Vision uh, software, again, you've got to think about these things because um, th how many phones out there in this price range are putting together devices like this? Uh, so, and I know Motorola is a champ to a lot of people, and then you've got a lot of ZTE products as well. Uh, but you know, TCL is known for their TVs, and uh, every TCL product that I have pretty much has a really nice screen on it. So this one is no exception. It's running Android 12. It's 270 bucks. Don't have high expectations, and you're going to get a fantastic device. And I'm not saying that to say this isn't a good device. I'm just telling you that. Be realistic and don't compare this to an iPhone 14 Pro Max or a S22 Ultra. You know, you. I think as creators we tend to do that sometimes, but I guess you could, but don't have the same expectations. You know, some people are already asking how many software updates this is going to get. Again, that's that's a horrible thing that has come out in the tech community where people start to question stuff like that and they shouldn't. This is a really decent device for the price, and I think a lot of people when they get their hands on it. They'll be more than impressed with, with what they got here. So, it's your man, Jay. It is the next day, and I've been using this all day since uh, 8 a.m., folks. I've been on this since 8 a.m., and I'm at 85% battery. That is impressive in its own. And it makes you wonder, you know, how the companies say they can't fit the big batteries in these devices, other companies. And this is 7.7 .7 millimeters in thickness. So, you check out your smartphone, and, you know, you see how thick it is, and if it has a smaller battery then yeah, you know, there's something definitely going on there. Look at the way that looks at that angle. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's just beautiful. That, that'll that probably be the thumbnail. But yeah, man, it's your man Jay. A quick rundown real fast, because I know I threw up the unboxing really fast. It was just a quick few-minute video, uh, and it was uh, late in the evening yesterday, and I wanted to get it set up and get some of my apps on here and start using it. And today, I've actually, like I said, I've been using this all day, and I'm not done because I'm getting ready to head back out and do some more stuff. Uh, and uh, for the rest of the evening with this device and take more photos. So it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a little bit more detail about the device. Again, um, 4 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, SD card slot, 700 dimensity chip, unlocked, 270 bucks, coming out in October. Uh, and I've got some other things from TCL as well. I've got the the uh, 20 S, the 30 SE. I've got the new tab for T-Mobile and Metro PCS. And we got a bunch of stuff we're going to cover once I get back to the office. But for now, I've, been, I've had it in this case right here because they actually do give you a case, which is pretty sweet. They give you a charger. And it's a shame that we're at a place now where we're thinking about, oh, do I get a charger? I think that's one of the worst places that the industry has gone. And I'm glad to see companies like TCL and CTE and Motorola and all the other companies that actually give you a charger in the box because that is essential. How are you going to charge your phone? You know what I mean? So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this is going to be a pretty nice device. I'm going to throw up some more content on it. I'm going to give you a camera review once I get back to the lab and I get back to my office. And, and uh, you're going to be pretty impressed with what you see with these cameras. I, I guarantee you, you will. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, follow-up and kind of a breeze through it real quick. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.